Modern young women who are taught to work hard and become successful and forget about men and family life should gather here to learn the lesson of their lives. This can save them from a life of regrets. Many, many women, 30s, 40s, trying to find a husband, college educated, working, money, house, car, beautiful, everything, right? But they can't find a husband. And many of them were, were saying and have been saying, when we were growing up, our mothers and our fathers were like, concentrate on your studies, mm. get a career, get independent, make sure you don't have to rely on anyone, us or man. And they, they that was the path they set them on, you see. So mm. for them now to get to the end of that road and realize, oh, there's not a husband waiting for me at the end of mm. that, but but I, I still wanted that. They've now, they're looking back on their parents and saying, like, how come no one said anything to us? How come mm. they literally said, marriage can wait? It was a mistake. I lived quite a feminist lifestyle for quite some time. What do you mean you lived a feminist lifestyle? Uh, I'm independent financially and all those things. And I kind of pursued my career for a really long time. I pursued my academics for a really long time. I really appreciate all of that. I think as you get older, you realize how unfulfilling all of those things are and when you're sold that dream for a really long time you're so convinced that that can't wait and you're so convinced that marriage kids and becoming all of those things that are more traditional can wait and really biologically it's the other way around so for me i would say it's been a mistake it's no news that successful women in life can't find success in dating they do all the amazing things in their careers but come home to an empty fully paid house i needed to add that because they are so proud of that achievement. First of all, I want to define what I understand as success for women, a woman making 200K in a year, or a top executive, or whatever it is. A woman has achieved. That woman is not more successful than a woman who has devoted her life to being a mother and good wife. Yes, I said it. A woman with a million dollar business with only that business as her achievement is not more successful than a mother. Before modern women crucify me, let me explain what I mean, although success is different things to different people, but at some point I think the reason why people want to be successful is generic, and that is to be happy. And between a woman, who is successful and has a good career, but can't find a man, and longs for a family relationship, and a woman who has spent her days bringing up fine kids that are doing well in their endeavors. Who is more happy? Think about it this way. We all envy successful people, right? But have you seen a woman anywhere, on the internet, or in any story you have heard, that this woman said I regret giving birth and being a mother and supporting my husband? I could have been a successful journalist, but I have personally not seen anyone. Those women are satisfied and fulfilled. But the internet is full of women who have voiced out their regret for pursuing career and money when they could have pursued family life. Now tell me who is more successful. Is it the woman who is rich but has a life of regret? or the woman who is going to be happy till she gets into the grave, having kids and grandkids loving on her? Even while not considering the fact that this woman will never be needy in her life, because she has reproduced herself in different humans, and their success is hers. Let's get right into the main topic for today, why successful women are single and searching because it does not end with being single. They are longing for the presence of a man in their life. I came across an article that explains this topic exclusively, and I figured that it is better to hear from the horse's mouth. This woman right here wrote an article on why she and her successful friends are single, and we should look into what she has to say. This title is a cool one, the insane reason why all of these hot, successful women are still single. This still looks funny to these women, because their career is still filling the place for the loneliness that is coming after. The wall is in the gym waiting to hit them hard. Let's get into the details of the article. The dating world is in a state of disarray. I came to this conclusion last weekend after I invited my girlfriends over for a glass of champagne before a fancy lunch at Icebergs. As I looked around my lounge room, I realized that all my friends are absolute catches. Not only are they gorgeous, but they've also got great jobs, comfortable wages, and are ridiculously good company. And it's not just this group of girlfriends, I have at least two other groups who are all in the same boat, and yet they are all single. Look at this. Why do they have all of these so-called good and amazing values? She listed here and they cannot still find a man. The problem is she thinks those things qualify them for the best partners. She thinks her friends and herself are better than most women and fails to realize that's not how things happen around here. One thing to note here 
is that those women are old because we will need it later. Let's get back to the article. I've been thinking for quite a while that the reason we're all single is because my gorgeous friends and I are getting passed over by the blokes we fancy because we're too old. In fact, it is safe to assume we're not even registering on many guys our age dating apps because they've set their age limits from 20 to, at a scrape, 30 years old. Well, you got this one right. At this point, you are old and full of experiences and men don't want to deal with that. Men prefer younger women. You can shout your success stories, but men want fertile ladies. They want innocent and less laid women who would bring them peace. Let's continue. Isn't that wild? And yes, I am very much expecting my Instagram DMs to be filled with messages from men ranting on about the fact I shouldn't have put my career before men and babies. And that I'm too picky. Oh, and my favorite, I've hit a wall. Side note, why do so many men love using the term, you've hit a wall? It's always from some hairy, balding bloke who scratches his nuts in social settings. Okay, mate. I beg to differ, dear cranky gents. I've never felt more comfortable in my skin. I don't want children, and I've adored every moment of chasing after a career I want. This is the problem with these women. They are never sincere with themselves. They get good news at work or new projects, and they get back into their independent woman skin. But when they lose excitement from work, they get back into longing for a man in their life. But the ultimate truth is that they deeply want a man in their life. They want to sincerely feel loved and not just laid and dumped. What we're after isn't anything too crazy. A nice guy who is well put together, has emotional intelligence, a decent job, and is nice to women. And dogs, definitely dogs. This is the truth of the matter. These women long for a man in their lives, but they are too proud to be too open about it, and they find subtle ways like this to express their pains. Let's get something straight. It's not the success of women that keeps men away. There are successful women who have seeming relationships or marriages, even though we don't know what's happening in their private lives, but the relationships have lasted for years and it looks stronger by the day. The problem of successful women not finding a man is what their success has made them. I say it every time, to be successful in this modern day, you need to possess some masculine characteristics like competition, independence, risk-taking, and aggression. And this is what these women take up in their process of becoming successful, and it, in turn, makes them like men. And men cannot settle with a woman like that. She will bring home that competition and independence, making the marriage or relationship like a race. Men want a submissive and respectable woman, but successful women always let achievement get into their head and it makes submission difficult for them. And apart from that, men don't want women who spent the beauty and fertile period of their life chasing career and money and then find a man to settle with after that. Just find it amazing how like girls prioritize what they want out of life and then they think a guy's gonna be sitting there at the finish line waiting for them at 30. Uh, I don't know. And it's like, it's like, and it's kind <laughs> like, of funny cause it's like, if I decided to be a bum and not work on myself, y'all would never accept me. But y'all think being a hoe and living your life and doing all this extra shit, living your life, right, as they say, like, I'm going to be there waiting for you. Not a chance. A lot of advantages have been given to modern women, but one advantage that nature has not given them is to think they can go live their life anyhow they want and expect that a man will be in one place waiting for them to complete his life. That is impossible. In conclusion, the success of a woman does not scare a man. It's what it has made her into that men avoid. That's all for today on The Latest Juice. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like my previous videos. Don't forget to hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. Share this video with whomever you would like to watch it. Thanks for watching.